Hello, I'm Dr. Craig Eskide. Welcome to Medical Monday. Nose, navel, knees. Nose, navel, knees. Nose, navel, knees. Remember that. Why is that important? That's a good guide to helping ensure that you have good body alignment when a person is eating. It helps with better swallowing. So think about this. Take a glass of water, turn your head to the side, and while you're at it, turn your hips to the opposite side, and then drink that water and see how easy it is to swallow. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn your head back to the center because you're much more likely to aspirate if your head is turned to the side. Also, if your head is tilted back. So when we're working with people with uh, different body deformities, different body positions, one of the best things that we can do to help reduce the risk of aspiration and improve swallowing is to help the person's body be in a line. So think, think about na nose, navel and knees all pointing in the, in the same direction. So you can have all of that pointing in the same direction, but maybe your head's tilted pretty far back or very far forward. So that's another thing to think about in terms of positioning, which can improve um, uh, swallowing and reduce the risk of aspiration. So if your head is way back and you try drinking that same glass of water, it's going to be hard. And the first thing, again, you're going to want to do is turn your head back. So uh, back to the neutral position. So we want to help people that we're supporting if they're eating or drinking to have their head in a neutral position. And one of the best ways to do that is just to take the palm of your hand and put it right behind the person's neck. And you should be able to put all five fingers flat against that behind the person's neck. If you can't, because their ne neck is too far back like this, then you can maybe help them achieve better alignment as they're swallowing. So body alignment is really important in eating. Now, uh, think about the trunk as well too. So a person might sit way back in relation to their hips or very far forward. And what we really want is as close to a 90 degree angle from the person's hips, you know, in a sitting position um, as possible. Somewhere between, oh, I, I guess maybe, you know, 45 and 105 is, is okay. Uh, but really about 90 degrees is where, where you want it to be. There are other positions for people who can't sit and eat that can be utilized. I'd recommend talking with a speech language pathologist, physical therapist, dietitian who works in this field that can help, um, help find the best position and the safest position for a person to eat to reduce the risk um, uh, as much as possible, the, the risk of aspiration. So keep those things in mind and remember, Nose, navel, knees. Nose, navel, knees. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode of Medical Mondays with Dr. Craig Eskide. We got a ton more in the backlog. So if you want to check those out, we got a playlist on YouTube or you can listen to it on our podcasting platforms. Uh, we just want to make a quick note that Friends for Life is currently hiring. So if you'd like to come work with us here at Friends for Life, head over to friendsforliferc.com. Go to our employment page, fill out the form, and we'll get back with you soon. And we also have a new show airing now called Nursing In no time kind of as a compliment to these medical mondays so if you'd like to check that out also available on our youtube channel and as always you guys can check out the friends for life podcast and our midweek mini so thank you for watching we'll see you next week